Sometimes I need to show two parts of the screen at the same time. For example, here I want to show the detail on where the playhead is in Camtasia so people can see the minutes, seconds, and frames, but I also want them to see the canvas as well. So if I zoom into the playhead, they won't be able to see the canvas. So the part that I want them to see is this section of time, like right in here. And what I do is I'll copy the screen recording for just that time. So I'm just going to do a control C to copy and then a control V to paste. Now it's not where I want it, so I'll just drag it back over here, drag it down. And like I said, I only need the screen recording, so I'm going to delete the audio. So now here, for this time, I have the screen recording right on top of the screen recording. There's nothing different. What I need to do to zoom into that part is I'm going to crop to just the part I need. And I'll show you. I'll go in here and the playhead stops right in this area. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key to crop the top image, the screen recording. So I'm just cropping the screen recording. And again, you're not seeing anything different because the screen recording was the same um, on top as it was below. Now that I have that cropped, I want to draw my viewer's attention to that area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box around it. So I'll make it the same duration and I want it to go right over top of the box that I have selected here. So let me just grab both of these so I can see where that is. Okay, so I want this to come over this way. Now, they're both the same size. When I draw this, uh, because I have a dark background here, I want this to be a lighter color. So I'm going to choose a brighter color. So we'll do a nice bright yellow. So now it'll draw right around that area. Okay, when this is done drawing, I want it to then expand or zoom in just that section. So I'm going to come out here and I'm go what I'm going to do is group both of these. So I'm going to select both. I'll do control G to group them because I want them to move as if they're one. And then I'm going to do shift A to add that animation. I'm going to zoom in so that I have that animation starting right where I want it to start, which is going to be this frame right here, 118.26. So I'll come here and place it here. Then what I want to have happen is I want all of this to zoom in to at least 200%. All right, so to do that, I just come out here to the right and I'm going to jump my scale and I'll try 200 to start. And that's pretty good. Let's take a look at how this looks. So it draws around here and then zooms in just that section. And then I can talk about what's in that section. Okay. Now, I don't want it to just drop off the way it does. My preference is to extend this out a little bit and add another animation. So just like we, uh, just like we zoomed in, um, I'll want to zoom back out. So I'll come back here, I'll do a Shift A, and then I'll just drop the scale back to 100. And then I usually like to fade out as well. So we'll zoom out and we'll fade out afterward. You could do them both at the same time, but I think it looks better if you fade out later. So we'll drop that opacity down to zero. All right, so now let's look at this. I'll just come out here a little bit. I'll play. I move the playhead over. I say, look, we're going to zoom into this area. I talk about what that thing is. And then when I'm done, I zoom back out. Now, it looks like I zoom back out of the box as it's zooming out. So I might want this to happen a little faster. So I'll just bump these you know, further to the left so that they happen before I leave the box. Let's see here, yeah, we'll zoom back out. Perfect. Okay, so that's how you can zoom into one area of your screen um, and still let people see everything else that's going on on the rest of your screen.